Hey guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the Angels Among Us Oracle by Vix Maxwell, Victoria Maxwell, um, over at New Age Hipster. You can find her on her YouTube channel, but she's doing a lot of courses and things like that. And I subscribe to her newsletter. I love to hear about all her musings and ramblings. Um, and this is uh, illustrated by Ellie Grant. Um, I. <laughs> freaking love this deck. I mean, I support Vix and many of the things that she does. I even had her um, Insta Oracle, you know, that she put out before. And that was just more um, of like a, it was an indie deck, you know, she just kind of put it out herself. And this one was actually picked up by Blue Angel, or sorry, not Blue Angel, but Rockpool Publishing. I was thinking angels and okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, she also has uh, a few books now. Um, uh, it's kind of like a YA um, kind of saga that's going on. Um, and it was like, you know, first based in the 80s. And I think now they're going to the 60s. Like it, it was like class of 88 or something like that. And anyway, um, I've read, you know, a couple of her books and um, she's very talented. And I was so excited to hear when she came out with this deck and the artwork. Oh my God, Ellie Grant did such a fabulous job with this. So anyway, on here, if you, uh, get a little bit closer, it says a powerful way to connect to the divine. And so, um, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Hot pink, just like Vix herself. She's all about her neons and hot pinks and everything eighties. And basically she's kind of like the Aussie version of me. <laughs> um, and then there's a cool like sun on the inside. All right. So in the guidebook here, um, she talks about like where the idea for this particular deck came from. And um, she considers herself kind of like a Christian witch. You know, she still has certain uh, connections and beliefs with her um, Christian upbringing, but also, um, you know, her very pagan practice and things like that. It's all kind of like interconnected, um, you know, with bits and pieces uh, offering kind of a very eclectic uh, practice maybe. Um, and she was saying that when she works with deity, she doesn't really see them as this um, being or this energy that is out of reach and above you and bigger and better than you are. She kind of sees that, you know, we're all a part of source, whether you are divine, you're a part of source, you, you yourself are part of source that makes you divine as well, that we're all divine. Um, and that these, uh, archetypes, these energies, not really, human, um, we more give them human attributes and we have them look a certain way. And, and you'll see within the cards here, um, that she wanted them to look like us, you know, so that it was like a friend that you could talk to somebody that's just there to, you know, help you out along your journey, not somebody to fear or to, you know, bow down to and, oh, you're better than me, you know, feeling like you're unworthy, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm thinking like, um, Wayne's world, Wayne and Garth, when they're like, um, bowing down, like, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Kind of like that, you know, but you, you want to be, well, not saying bow down to Alice Cooper, but <laughs> that Alice Cooper kind of like in that same vein is just a regular dude like you and me, um, maybe a rock God, but just a regular person. And so that's the way this deck has been set up is that these, these gods, these gods and goddesses, these angels are all just kind of average Joes because they're all pieces of you. They're divine because you're divine. Um, and I don't want to say like average Joe, like they're nothing. They're, they're, no better than you. They are a piece of you, but they can guide you because they are a piece of your higher consciousness. They are a piece of source. Um, but she also has uh, some very cool spreads that are in here and awesome that it's a full color guidebook. Um, and then you get into the archangels first and there's a lot of information that you'll find under each of them. So like for Archangel Michael, you got a lot of information plus kind of what it says on um, pieces of what it says here on the Oracle itself and what it could mean in particular readings like love and relationship readings, work readings, home readings. Um, and then what you could have this particular, um, archangel or energy assist you with, um, and how you can embody this energy, um, you know, bring archangel into your archangel, Michael into your own life. Um, and it has that for all the angels here. And then we go on to 
the saints and ascended masters. So pretty much like that. And then we have our gods and goddesses. And then a little bit about the author. And so as you can see, the deck in the box look kind of like Vix if she were the deck in the box. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's a little bit about Vix. And this is a little bit about her illustrator. Okay, so let's now take a look at the cards here, because that is why you are here. All right, so if you read reversals in Oracle cards, you can see that it can easily be reversed. Um, and then we get in nice and tight here. Just very cool colors, um, visual texture, not physical texture. Um, and they are quite glossy. Um, and that is a protective coating that is on the cards. I don't feel like that hinders my shuffling in any way. Um, sometimes I don't really like super shiny cards, but these aren't really that slippery. So it's not a problem. They're not slipping and sliding all over the place. And you'll notice it has this hot pink edging, which I think is totally rad. I like something a little different than the normal gold or silver or even black edging. Um, but hot pink, heck yeah. All right, so let's take a look at these lovely cards. Okay, so um, the artist kind of came up with how they would embody, let's say, this deity if they were just somebody you'd be passing on the street. So uh, I like in the tattoos, you of course have all the symbols that are associated with Toth, or some people say Thoth. Um, and then you have some keywords here, wisdom, time, um, Akashic records, and writing. And you see he has like a little notebook and a writing utensil there. Um, and then, you know, each of them just kind of go on like that, you know, the tattoos kind of also connecting with the deity, um, along with what they're wearing, what's, uh, you know, on their jewelry, the keywords. I love the, just how much just character, you know, is in here. And by the way, Mother Mary keeps coming up for me a lot in this deck. And I won't say that I, I work a lot with Mother Mary, so it is interesting. So I'm like, okay, what can I learn from Mother Mary? Because like I said, I don't really work with her all that much. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, just imagine passing these dudes and dudettes on the street. You don't even know you're walking right past Goddess Isis or Archangel Shemuel. And I love how, you know, in the art, everybody's like different, you know, like in some um, decks where it's just like a, a, a person, like a, like people decks, it looks like the same person, just kind of a varied hairstyle and clothes and maybe the skin tone, but like these look like vastly different people, you know, which I think is pretty rad. Like just the expression on their face, what they're wearing, their jewelry, their tattoos, their hairstyles, I think really embodies the essence of that particular energy. And remember, these just are energies. They don't really have like a form, <laughs> you know, that um, is like, oh, you know, these are like people forms. These are the forms that we create for them um, so that we can connect to them. And I think kind of bringing them down to earth, uh, hence like the, the name of the, the deck itself, um, Angels Among Us, that, you know, the divine is all around us and within us. Um, and it's just being aware of that, that all of these characters that you see in here, they're within us and they're with every person that we pass on the street. And I'm really, really digging um, Ellie Grant's art style. I 
and I've been using this as like a card of the day. I've been using them in full on spreads. I've been using them with my tarot cards. I, it's like I can't not have these with me and I bring them uh, next to my bedside and I pull a card before I go to sleep. Um, it's been really helpful. And there we go. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned um, kind of how big these are. These are just a smidge taller than your standard tarot size and just like a little bit wider. So um, when I shuffle them, I have no problem doing a side shuffle. I am 5'8", so I don't say that I have like huge hands or anything, but you know, I definitely don't have tiny hands. And if you did, you could always do a little top shuffle with this deck. Um, the cardstock is amazing, by the way. This is some... Um, I don't know, like 300 and above maybe, uh, GSM cardstock. So really good for those of you that are riffle shufflers, but for me, I'm just a side shuffler. Um, I think due to the jumps up and down in humidity uh, here in Arizona, it's kind of warped the cards just a little bit. You can kind of see they have a little kind of odd bend to them, but that's because I've also been using them a lot and they've also been kind of outside <laughs> and inside. So, um, whatever. Um, I could still shuffle. They're still fine. They're still cool. All right. But on that note, let's go ahead and uh, pull a card for you guys. That's right. Not only do I do reviews, but I also do a little reading for you at the end of the review. So hopefully this connects with you. If not, hopefully you just enjoyed looking at these beautiful cards. And I do these reviews mainly just to show off some beautiful art and beautiful energy and put it out there on the internet. Um, but if you are interested in the deck, I'll put the link down below. All right. Ooh, Melchizedek. What up, bro? All right. So let's take a look at Melchizedek here. We have spiritual development is one of the keywords. Ooh, that is a sweet looking jacket. You have law of attraction and you have study. Okay. And then we have an older fellow here, maybe denoting some wisdom, although um, wisdom doesn't always come with age. <laughs> Um, okay, let's actually take a look at what Vix has here in the guidebook because, um, well, she is a writer um, and she does write very well. So let's go to card 23. All right. It says Melchizedek is a high priest during biblical times and as mentioned in the Old Testament and the Dead Sea Scrolls. Melchizedek is said to be the pre-incarnate Christ as there are many similarities between his story and the story of Jesus. Known as an angel, the general of the heavenly armies and the king of peace, in New Age spirituality, Melchizedek is seen as a very high vibrational and wise spiritual teacher and leader of the light. He is wonderful to connect with in times when you wish to accelerate your spiritual journey. Okay, the oracle says you are a leader of light Work on developing your spiritual abilities and talents through study and practice. Um, so it gives you kind of, um, depending on the type of reading, what it could mean. Um, but uh, let's see how we can embody the energy of Melchizedek. Prioritizing your spiritual practice and study. Learning your lessons in all areas of your life. Sharing what you have learned with others. Holding sacred space for others. And teaching. Um, so just kind of what I'm getting from this is, you know, it doesn't matter who you're watching on YouTube, what books that you're, you're reading. Um, the thing is to keep learning, um, and asking questions. You know, if somebody, um, says something that goes against something that you believe in, um, you want to ask yourself why, why am I vehemently maybe opposed to somebody else's belief? Uh, what does this mean in me? Do I have any blockages or things or areas that need healing? Um, or is this just something that, you know, I don't accept at this time and you don't need to accept everybody's beliefs, but, um, it is good to have, um, tolerance for, you know, other people's opinions and ways of thinking and doing. So, um, you know, whatever, uh, it may be, you can call on some Melchizedek energy to kind of help you through, uh, your spiritual study. So continue researching, learning, have a hunger, a passion, uh, for advancing yourself. Um, whether you call yourself a spiritualist or not, um, just to better yourself as a person. And, you know, I think is one of our main priorities here on uh, planet earth. So 
Anyway, hopefully this card connected with you. So rocking out with Melchizedek, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to this review and hopefully you dug the art and everything um, and the message. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you wanna catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have a lot of different types of readings. I also have my room of body sprays, my salves, my Wally's World Oracle. Um, I have, oh, altar pendants that I make. So uh, witchy travel pendants to carry your practice wherever you go. I have rainbow bridge pendants. I have ancestral altar pendants. So definitely check those out. But if you're looking for more witchy items, then go check out Desert Cauldron. It's all one word over on Etsy. We also have an Instagram at desert.cauldron. Uh, and we make one of a kind items for your one of a kind, unique spiritual practice. So a couple of, um, I guess, examples of the things that we have in our shop. Um, uh, we also sell um, like resins and herbs like this is a bottle of copal and within all of our resins and herbs that we sell we also place in a little piece of green kyanite uh, said to uh, connect you to uh, nature fairies nature spirits and the like while uh, working on things uh, but also this is actually the very last one of these that we have in the shop but this is a 90 million year old fossilized mosasaur tooth uh, we have turned this into a wand with um, mexican fire opal um, so this creates some just mega directional energy depending on what it is that you are working on you know just that ancient um, water because of mosasaur and fire uh, energy so very balanced energy um, but yeah we only have one of these left uh, we were fortunate to get our hands on some fossils but uh, that's it this is the last one um, so you're gonna have something very unique in your practice if you end up uh, getting that um, but yeah we have a lot of things like that a lot of things uh, created by local artisans and like I said ourselves but um, and we have a lot of vintage uh, things as well so um, or antique I should say because they're over a hundred years old but we've mixed some of our magic into those 100 plus year old items so definitely check us out over on desert cauldron come dance in the desert with us all my other information is down below for my Leon Mystery School, my newsletter that I put out once a month on the first of every month, um, and my Patreon homies, which, you know, we have fun doing uh, weekly channel guidances, we have monthly crystal grids, uh, weekly crystal stuff, um, once a month meditations, and um, live chats, and so on and so forth. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. And that's it from me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.